What up, gangsters? Uh, welcome to your 21st tutorial. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, give me those thumbs up. I definitely need that, so thank you for doing that. And if you don't, you know, that's cool too, whatever. But in today's tutorial, um, basically, I'm, I'm doing this for my boy, the Meat Thai, because uh, he's asked me a few times and I told him I would. And he also joined my form, which helps a lot. So basically what we're doing is we're going to set up a pretty sweet little, um, well, pretty basic little uh, wallpaper app where you can set a wallpaper to the phone background of, of the actual phone. And as you can see, this is going to be kind of the image. And you can scroll through some of the different pictures down here. Select one. And it'll come up here. And then you can set, you know, to the phone's background. Um, basically today we're just doing this. None of, none of this is programmed really. We're just setting up the XML like we always do. And also for this tutorial you're going to have to go to www.cornboys.com and register for my form because you know it's more fun with more people in there. You don't actually have to but you know Cornboys is climbing up your window, snatching your people up. So hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your husbands, because, you know, we be raping everybody up here. Uh, no, no, we don't, no, I don't know, we aren't actually raping anyone, but do that if you guys want to. I'd love to see you guys in there, because it gets lonely by myself. Now, we're going to go into the, the, you know, the clips, where we always do it, and basically, what I want you to do is get some pictures you want for backgrounds. And again, I'm not positive on the size for these. That works best for a wallpaper. I'm pretty sure the ratio is four to three. But you know, make some images and put them in your resource file like we always do. Set up a new Java class called Tutorial 3. And make sure you set up a new button in your, in your main class or your menu class and make it uh, have a, the intent to you know start up your tutorial 3 and as well make that intent and your Android manifest nothing new there and then we're just going to jump into the XML here so you want to create a new XML and it's going to be called tutorial 3 with the letter because that's how we do it over here and basically you want to set your linear layout orientation to vertical to start out with and we're just going to go to graphic view because it's a little bit easier just to get started with here and what we want to do is we first want to have an image view. I'm just going to drag and drop. Yeah, you don't see nothing, but oh, that sounded really. All right, you don't see anything, but uh, that's fine. Then we're also going to add a button. And then we're also going to add an, uh, let's see here, image view. And then we're just going to go into code because this is the way I do it. I don't know, whatever. But. Uh, also, my buddy on here, he told me a little trick. Hit Control Shift F, it kind of formats it for you. So that's a pretty neat little trick that you learned today. And we're going to set up our first image view as IV, and this is going to say um, Display. So this is going to be the one that they pick. Um, and probably in this video, there's going to be a lot of cutting, and or I'm going to clip the video just so you guys can, you know make all your references and all that stuff because you don't need to see me type that all out but we're going to change the button text to set um, background or set wallpaper we'll say oh man come on alright and then we're going to set the ID as button set background or set wallpaper why do I keep doing that man Man, oh man. Alright, and then we're also going to say, uh, you know, fill parent for the width with a lowercase f. And for the image view, we're just going to say IV image view 1. Or just going to say image 1. Alright. Also, what we want to do is because if you saw like my images, they were put together. Um, so we're just going to add some padding to this real quick. So I'm just going to, sorry, I told you we were doing an XML, but I'm just going to go to, click on the image, 
the second one, and we're going to go to padding. And again, this will just give us a little space, so we're going to say like, let's go 15 dp, that, sound, that sounds pretty good. All right, now we're going to go back into the XML. Sorry about it, but uh, hopefully that added. Yep, okay. And we want to set the width of the, or actually, I'm sorry. That's my train of thought here. We're going to set our width up here and our height up here to a definite space. And we're just going to call it 200 dp and by 200 dp because we can. And you know, this isn't the best way to do it, but this is just a real basic way. But uh, we're also going to set the, the width down here for these to like 150, 125, we'll say. That sounds good. Whoa. 125 dp. And also what we need to do is we need to set this image view equal to something. So we're going to say Android and it's going to be called source or s o r wow s o r s r c equals drawable and then you know just pick one so we're going to say back abstract and we also want to set a source for our first main one let's see here And I'm just going to also say, you know, back abstract. Okay. And now what we would need to do is we're just going to copy and paste this image and change the, you know, change the references to, for example, VI image 2 and a different, you know, reference and your drawable. So I'm going to probably clip the video and just copy and paste this. I have seven images, so I'm going to copy and paste that six more times and set that up. I should probably do the same. All right, and we're back. Again, I'm just going to hit Control Shift F because it's such a sweet little trick there. And now we got our images down here. What else do we need? Well, if you remember. From you know what I showed you at the beginning of the lesson, we're going to need scroll view, but it's not going to work if we use scroll view. We need to use something called horizontal scroll view. So we're going to set that up real quick, and you know I'm just feeling like doing a graphical layout here. If I can find it, I'm such an idiot. All right, I'm just going to type it out. So we need to say uh, Android layout width. And, you know, you can set this fill parent, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do something like 200 dp. So I'm feeling like using some dps today. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Android height. Oh, layout height. I'm sorry. And we're going to set this to wrap content. All right, and we also probably want to set like uh, the layout Android, um, Android layout gravity to something called centered or center, I should say. And then I've got to end off that statement here, so we're going to end off the beginning of it. And so I'm actually going to put the you know that ending statement there. I'm just going to delete that. If you remember, scroll views are looking for a linear layout. So we're going to set up a linear layout. And Android layout width. Creepy voice. All right, layout width is going to be fill parent as well. And layout height. That's going to be wrap content. 
if you don't know what we're doing, you should probably, you know, go back a few videos, check those out. But hopefully you guys will follow along. And let's see what else what else do we need for this? Oh yeah, we need to set up the orientation here. Because we don't want it to be vertical. Vertical is so square, you know, so old school. So we're gonna set up it as horizontal. And you need anything else for that? We'll check it out. We'll see. We're just gonna save it and what? I'm getting some errors here, so I'm just gonna check those out real quick. Oh yeah, because I haven't closed them off yet down here. So just gonna close off our statements, should do it automatically, and now we're gonna save it, make sure we don't get any more errors because that's just not cool. And hopefully We get something like this. First, I was like, oh, that's not what we want. But yeah, it's going to look something like this. And yeah, you can't see your images right now, but that's okay. I think it should work. And hopefully, that should be the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Again, please, you know, give those thumbs up and join the forum if you like. Because that's what all the cool people are doing these days. And you just got to follow along, you know. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm acting weird. And if this button doesn't work, you gotta make sure your intent set up and the Android manifest and all that stuff. Okay. Basically, um, maybe this we need to set the gravity to center if you want. But, you know, we should get something looking like this. So, hopefully, you guys have something like this. If not, post your questions or whatever in the, in the comments, and I'll try and figure out what's going on. But, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Peace, guys.